Have you ever wondered, do I need therapy? If you've asked yourself that question, then this video is for you. And if you haven't asked yourself that question, well, this video is for you too. Find out why just ahead. Hi there, I'm Dr. Allison from Dr. Allison Answers, a licensed clinical psychologist, and my life mission is to help people live happier and healthier lives. Raise your hand if you think that therapy is only a last resort when you're at the bottom of the hole feeling so alone and there's nowhere else to turn. Don't worry, I can't actually tell if you're raising your hand right now. Well, I hate to put it this blunt, but if you raised your hand and you think that's the only time we need therapy, well, you're kind of wrong. Actually, you're really wrong, but that sounds kind of harsh to say. Therapy is an incredible tool and it's shown to be super effective in helping people get unstuck or, or get through some of their biggest struggles. So therapy is an amazing tool to do just that. But I think so many people ask themselves and are uncertain whether or not they need therapy. Today I'm going to kind of clear that up for y'all. And I think the bigger question is, would I benefit from therapy, right? Maybe it's not that, oh my goodness, you desperately need it, but that's not the only time to seek therapy. Therapy is not meant to be a last resort when you feel like you're so far at the bottom of the hole you can't climb out. So I'm going to talk about three little clues or signals that therapy might be helpful for you at this very moment. All right, so let's start. So the first is that you feel stuck. And what I mean by stuck is basically you have been feeling a certain way or sitting with a problem or struggling with something and you've tried everything that you know for dealing with it and yet you still can't seem to figure it out or you can't get yourself to sort of feel differently. Maybe you've been dealing with anxiety for a while and you've tried everything that you know but it's still there and it's still there at the same level, right? You feel stuck with it. Maybe therapy? is right for you at this moment. Maybe you've been really having the same disagreement in your relationship or in your marriage and you find yourself, you know, that both of y'all are trying to work it out, but it feels like it's not going anywhere. You're stuck. You want to feel different, but you don't know how. You're stuck. Therapy is an awesome help for that. The second reason is that you feel alone, right? That you feel like nobody can really understand or identify with how you're feeling. Now, sometimes I think people don't identify that they feel lonely because they have lots of people around them. Having a support system or having lots of people around you doesn't really have much to do with loneliness at all. We can be surrounded by hundreds of people in our life and still feel really lonely. If you feel that, like no one can understand, no one gets it, or maybe there's a sense of shame in your life and you are just sitting in silence with something, you don't have to be alone with it. Seek out therapy, have someone support you, get you and explore whatever's going on with you. Loneliness is a great kind of clue that maybe therapy is a good thing for you right now. And the third thing is when whatever we're struggling with is starting to interfere with our daily life or starting to interfere with our performance or our functioning. Maybe you've got some family stuff going on and you are just not sure how to deal with it and now it's impacting your work performance, it's impacting your ability to be patient or present with your kids give therapy a try. Maybe that you are noticing your mood is, is really low, you're having trouble getting out of bed, you've missed a couple meetings or important dates that you normally wouldn't miss. Let's give therapy a try. Those are kind of the three clues that maybe I need therapy. Again, therapy is not only for when you're at the bottom of this deep dark hole and you got no other option. Of 
course, that's an important time to seek therapy, but why do we wait that long? We, therapy doesn't have to be our last option. So those three clues I named, right? You're feeling stuck, you feel alone, or whatever's going on is starting to impact your performance or your functioning. Those are three clues that I need therapy and I'm gonna reach out. If you think you could benefit from therapy right now, I wanna encourage you, go for it, reach out. I do have a, a post on my website that talks about how to get connected for therapy if you're not sure where to start. But my biggest encouragement would be if you notice one of those three clues, now, in two months, in two years, in 10 years, reach out. You do not have to feel stuck and alone and impacted on a daily basis. There is awesome support waiting to help you out. I hope this tip was helpful. If you want more good stuff like this or ways to enrich your life and live a healthy, meaningful, happy life, then please check out my website, DrAllisonAnswers.com. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, it totally helps me out. If you subscribe or you hit that like button, you'll be the first to know about videos, but also I get to know a little bit more about what you like and what you want more of. If you feel stuck, alone, or stuff is getting in the way, reach out for help. Thanks so much. I think I just heard my next client. I'm gonna go meet them. Hey there, you made it. Come on back, I'm Dr. Allison.